Hello Simmers and today we're going to be doing a random color generator um, room thing. It's been going around the Sims 4 community but it's basically every room is going to be a different color in our build and I actually was building in Glimmerbrook. Um, I built a shell already but um, Obviously, each room needs to be assigned a color, so I listed off all the rooms beforehand, and I think I'm just gonna do random colors here, and then I'm gonna do a speed build, because I'm fine with doing stuff in time, but I feel like I end up talking too much, so the video becomes too long. So, we're just gonna start... Um, with that outside and we're gonna click the second link right here just one color pops up and I'll pick um, the color according to what the color looks like and the thing about it is sometimes it gives like tertiary colors or even um, more mixed colors which uh, it's hard to tell which color it actually is so we're just gonna go based on our best judgment and for the first room is outside so so it's like a brownie orange which is actually perfect for glimmer brook I didn't even expect that um let's just say brown slash orange <laughs> I think we can get a, a good mixture on that I think we're gonna know what that is and we can just um, refresh the page and the next one is going to be the kitchen the kitchen is going to be red <laughs> it's going to be interesting I think this is going to be interesting because a lot of people are doing like um, suburban houses and houses they're used to doing but I'm doing like a witch house a glimmer book house and it's for a bunch of townies that are already there I want to go paste, uh, according to their personalities so I'm going to try to do that. Um, I forgot their name, but I'll remember once I hop in game. But now we're going to do the hall. And let's randomize that color. The hall is going to be green. Interesting. Alright, we have green down. And then the living room. This is very important. I feel like it's going to be purple. I don't know why. Oh, blue. I was close. I was close. Alright, so this room's going to be blue. Alright, then our dining room. And I literally went room by room when I wrote these down. So, I think it's going to be um, very easy. The only ones I'm going to let myself interchange are the first bedroom, second, third, and fourth bedroom. Because they're all upstairs, so it's hard to number them. There is a sister bathroom between two of the bedrooms, so um, that one is specifically going to be for that one. And then the two en suites, um, it's just going to be whatever. I was, I, I don't know which one. I think I'm just going to do a random number generizer on my phone before I do it to decide which one gets which color. So, to make it all fair. Um, but we're going to do the dining room next. Ooh, like a, I was going to say yellow, but let's go with beige. That kind of looks like a beige, a beige yellow green. It's more like a yellow green, but I think it would be more interesting to get a, a better spectrum of colors. So we'll go with beige. All right. Brown. That's straight brown for the mud room. That's so perfect. <laughs> broom <laughs> brown <laughs> no but it's funny because the the colors that i'm getting it's so perfect for the world i'm in and i'm not even getting the random colors like that's what i found with the this website it's oddly weird for different builds but um i know like i think it was little simpson she kept getting the same colors and i think a few other um, some creators had problems with that, like Plumbella in them, where they would get the same color, but I'm gonna base it on what color I get. Um, so the downstairs bathroom, that's the main one, we're gonna have as pink. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like pink. 
I know a lot of people got like pink kitchens and stuff like that. I <laughs> I didn't have that pleasure. Okay, so green for the guest room. I'm actually really excited for the outside that I got the, the brown orange because that's actually perfect for Glimmerbrook. Like all their their um stones are that color too, so I was worried about what I was going to get for the outside and if it was going to misplace the world, but it's actually going to work. I know there's some trees that are like brown or orange, so that's going to look nice outside too. I just don't think there's a lot of plants that I can put outside in front. I might, I don't know if this is cheating by doing the brown slash orange, but there's some things that are like brownie orange and I, I want to go with those, those colors. I just put guest room next to guest room. Green. I'm having like a bunch of brain farts. Okay, so the attached bathroom to that guest room is going to be teal. So we'll go with blue. Because there's more like blue and teal, I think. Okay, so the sitting room. This is the room on the other side of the house. <sighs> Green. Surprised I'm not getting like straight out yellow. I'm getting a lot of greens. There's gonna be a lot of greens. I was thinking maybe I should be more clear. Maybe like like muted green, bright green, pale green, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna let them be green. Alright, the upstairs hall. So, the living room and the upstairs hall are kind of attached because that's where the staircase is going to be. So, the fact that they're blue is going to... This is an important part. So, let's see. Green. <laughs> Alright. We're just going to have a very green house. Alright. Bedroom 1 is pink. Bedroom 2 is purple. Bedroom three is pink. <laughs> and bedroom four is... Can I... I'm going to roll again because I, I can't just have my whole house being green. <laughs> I think it's fair. Vixel re-rolled one of hers, but I don't think it's fair to have green. And so didn't Lil Simsy, but I don't want to have my whole house looking the same. I want it to be a color pop and make it more challenging we're gonna say this one's yellow just to add something to the build and maybe i'll change one of the bedrooms because i think it's okay to have like two pink bedrooms but i want it to look different but we'll see all right so the ensuite is gonna be blue or the sister bathroom is gonna be blue Alrighty then. And yellow for one of the um, suites. It would be perfect if I did the yellow bathroom. Oop. The yellow bathroom with the yellow bedroom. But I think we're going to mix it up with one of these other colors. Just to make it a little more interesting. Alright, and the random color for the last ensuite bathroom is purple. All right, we got a nice lineup of colors. I'm gonna pop in game and start building. Um, and then we'll see us there. Um, I actually think, I don't want two pink bedrooms cause I think it's gonna be, dis not distracting, but I think it's not gonna be fair cause they're just gonna, they're not gonna be carbon copies, but Maybe we should make it different. Like it should be light pink and then dark pink. Alright. Yeah, that looks good. Um, this is my lineup. And then we're just going to jump in game and do that stuff. Alright. Alright, so as you can see, I already built the shell. Um... This video is kind of long. 
in a sense. So it's nice that I already built a shawl. I did it real quick right before I chose the colors. Or yeah, I did it right before I chose the colors because I needed to know which rooms that I did or that I needed to do. So I chose the colors like that and I then built it and did a speed build. It took like two hours to make this, which I had a lot of fun doing. This Any challenge is fun to me and I like doing them and I keep putting them in my, my save and I put this one in Glimmerbrook and maybe it's just because I've been watching a lot of Netflix and I've been binge watching um, The Good Witch and subconsciously I chose it, but um, I, I chose to do in Glimmerbrook and a lot of people are doing like more traditional houses, but this one's kind of traditional, but it's, it has like more of a witchy vibe, which I like. And this is actually the Charm family's house and I added a cat to their household. So there is a cat. Um, I named it Salem from like from Sabrina, the teenage witch. So I had a lot of fun doing that, but the whole outside... I stuck to mostly browns, um, I didn't, I got a lot of plants in the, the brown section that weren't actually brown, so I did it accordingly, and, um, some things are a little on the orange side, so I think it's okay because I got, like, that orangey brown color, but I had a lot of fun doing that outside. I've never used that, um, mid, middle trim. Um, I think they're called freezes. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I'm probably saying the wrong word. But I, I haven't used that one before. It's from Seasons. And I used it around the whole house. And eventually I used it around the back too. Um, right now. <laughs> but I think it worked perfectly with the aesthetic I was going for. Um, I'm a little sad with the landscaping on this build. But that's only because I didn't have a lot of options. But. May I say, I'm very proud of this build because it was surprisingly easy to do it and it fit with all the personalities I was going for and the outside was so lucky to get. I was willing to have like a crazy exterior but it became normal and it looks like Glimmerbrook. I, from the, the world view, it looks like it belongs in this world a lot. And I just had fun making it. And it was like the perfect color. It was like if fate came in. Because the whole pack is like more on the, like the woods are more on the orangey brown side. So I think it came out nice. And um, the trees, I went with some that were a little more on the brown side. And there's a lot of trees and stuff like that that, um kind of didn't fit but the only two plants that actually came in it were the like two plants one was like ready and one was basically orange but I used some because those were the only plants that I got and it was in the the color select but I'm seeing now I do want to apologize about my capture I guess it didn't capture my game all the way and I noticed that in the last video but it didn't capture it all the way when I was building it, so you'll notice that the, the bottom and the corner cut off. I think I just need to adjust my settings, and I'll get that fixed for next video for sure, or I'll try to at least, but I don't think it affects the build all that much. Um, it's still, like, you can still tell what's going on and everything around it, but um, at the end, I do change the, the roofing. To a brown roofing so if you're like hey Tabby, you didn't change that roofing right there I don't worry it doesn't say like that gray color it turns into a, a brown but I did have fun the the worst part of this whole thing was probably the landscaping everything else was really fun I love like color build challenges I don't know why um, I haven't I, I done one before on this channel and it was like a bunch of different houses so I think that got me prepared for this challenge especially but I really enjoyed doing it and I really like the outside and the inside as well but 
I don't usually build in this style and I I like how it came out. I liked um challenging myself a little bit and you're probably gonna say when I'm building that sister bathroom could have been changed into two bathrooms for the brother and the sister of the family but I wanted it to be like that they fight a lot and they fight over the bathroom but I kind of want to talk a little bit about the family itself so there's Minerva, um, Gemma, Daryl, and Amelia um, three of them are all a part of the same family and Amelia I think she's just like a protege of Minerva, so she's just trying to learn magic and do it from the best. Um, but I feel like she, she's the expectation, like, she's the example student to everybody, and that makes Gemma a little upset. And in the, the bio, I got those vibes too. Like, um, she's competing for the attention, and she may, like, rebel a little bit against the family and that's why for the bedrooms I chose to do her room the dark pink room and then I did um Amelia's the light pink room it's just like it's like a compelling side against dark versus light and obviously they see um Amelia as this angel and then Gemma as this just not as good and she just wants to prove herself to her, her family but I really like this family I did add um some a lot of skill building things to the, to the whole build entirely and I think that um it gives them a little more personality and I just want to point out in this build I added a um jungle gym and there's no children and I knew that going in but I feel like they they had it since childhood and if they have kids for like future generations and they you still want to use this house well they at least they'll still have it but um that's why i added it i wanted to like just preface it a little bit um but i i think like all the woods went together nicely on the outside and i really enjoyed that that part um and i like how the shell came out to be i when shells are weird to me because like when you're looking at them you don't know what they can be and it's proven many times before like with different simmers like that these shells become like a hunting ground of possibilities but I never even realized that until like I I've done like many other shells but when I was doing this shell in particular like it was just crazy seeing the the transformation from what I had before to this build and it fits so nicely with the world and I really enjoyed it so that makes the build even better like when you enjoy doing it so, and um I like didn't even notice the time go by and <laughs> That's the, the great thing about these things is that um, in times like a global pandemic, you have moments like these where you don't even notice the time leaving you. But um, other than that, I'll, I'll talk a, a little bit about my life and to fill you guys in. But I'm so excited because I'm actually going to get a tattoo on Thursday. Um... And I'm so excited for it. It's, uh, my boyfriend, his brother is a tattoo artist and a really good one at that. And I am scared because I feel like I scar easily, but <laughs> I'm excited and I hope it turns out really good. I gave him the design because if you don't already know, I am a graphic design major, so I'm so into art. So I made my own tattoo design and I'm gonna get on, like the inside of my arm underneath my armpit and it's just gonna be of a butterfly and a ladybug and it's gonna be that because that's my nicknames growing up my uncles um, call me butterfly I all started with my uncle Jermaine he he started me call me butterfly because uh, my mom called me ladybug like growing up and that was completely on a mistake. She didn't mean to call me Ladybug. She actually meant to call me Shutterbug because I moved around a lot. And in 
like, and that includes in my stomach, or in my stomach, no, in her stomach. I moved around a lot, um, when she was pregnant with me, so that's why I was named, um, Ladybug as a nickname. So, it has, like, special meanings to me, and I'm excited to get it, and that's just, like, a little tidbit in my life. But I finished all my exams and stuff, so all this crazy upload times and upload schedule things that I keep missing out on hopefully I get better at because I don't have a lot of the struggles that I had before with school and stuff like that but um I got mostly A's I think I got one B plus it depends it's, it's like on the cuff so it's either going to be an A minus or a B plus but um I'm so proud and I'm actually hoping I get the scholarship that I've been wanting. I, I got my boss to write me a letter of recommendation for it, and I hope I get it in the summer. It would just um, top off a lot of things. Um, I've been doing so good with like my financial aid and school and stuff, so I'm, I'm proud of that. But um, the kitchen in this build, it was really fun to do. It's red. I didn't think it would be so much fun using the red stuff until I did that, that first um, solid color shape build challenge that I did. Um, I think I'll link that one after this video, like it would be the, the end screen just because it's another solid color challenge. Um, but like red isn't even my color, like I don't like, I don't connect with red, but um, like I've been enjoying using it like a lot in these builds and I think it's just they come out with a lot of good stuff in the sims that are red and I enjoyed that um but I <laughs> this first floor it starts to become so much not because of the colors like everybody else's builds but I rolled the green so much <laughs> that three rooms right next to each other I didn't even like think about it they were all green, so it looked so weird. It's um this room, the sitting room that's right next to it, and then the guest bedroom are all green. And so I think I'm actually going to turn the thumbnail into the, um, the top floor because it's a little more vibrant, <laughs> a lot more color. But... I think it all came together in a really fine way and like you wouldn't look at this house and be like wow it's a crazy house you'd be like oh those are some cool colors and it's a pretty nice house and I think it really fits with the, the whole world too so I am happy like all these challenges I'm expecting so much for them to flop but then they actually work and they look nice and it's because I'm having all this fun like I think my worst builds are when I'm not having fun, but when I do have fun, they come out really nice and I really enjoy them, but I think I enjoy them a lot because I enjoyed doing them, like I enjoyed having fun doing them, because sometimes like building gets so repetitive and so standard that you need like this switch up in these new experiences for it to look okay. Um, but yeah, that's my thought on that. I think I'm actually going to go back and edit a few things on this. Or one thing in particular. When I was taking my screenshots, that Penguin TV was floating. I don't know if I can fix that, but... Um, if not, you, you guys are just going to have a floating penguin. Um, but today, I am going to upload all the builds that I promised to upload. For sure. And I only didn't upload them because I, when I finish a video, I wanted to give it time because I have to wait for it all to upload. And I don't want it to just upload it to the gallery and you guys watch my video. Well, yeah, I want, I want it to be like that. I want it so you can watch the video and then you can go see it. But I don't want it, like you guys already seen the build and you're not excited for the video. So I like to wait a little bit just to give you guys like a little bit like, ooh, I, that's really nice. I want to download it. I I want you guys to have a chance to explore it, but I also want to like explain my my process behind everything. And I like 
take a deep breath in. No. <laughs> but, and that's just it on that. And I'm sorry if I don't upload it to the gallery as much as I should. I'm, I'm really getting used to that because I realized, like, over these years of building, like, I just haven't shared a lot of my stuff. And I, I build a lot. And I just don't. Um, I think my channel's soon mostly going to be a building channel. Because that's what I have fun doing. And that's what I enjoy. But. <laughs> I just ran out of things to say. <laughs> Do you ever have like a thought and you forget it? Like as you're speaking. That was me right now. But <laughs> this um. This dining room is a little bland, but it came out really nice. Um, a little part of it gets changed at the end, and just the, the branch part, but I tried to make it work. I don't think it worked in the end. Um, but the beige, actually, the little toned down parts make it look good. And maybe I did this challenge wrong, because, like, it, it's the challenge. It's the challenge, but I use, like, all these muted colors and... I, I feel like the point of the challenge is to um, use the vibrancy and create it into something like a chaos, a good chaos, or a bad chaos, whatever <laughs> floats the boat, but like my first floor is all muted, and I just think it was the, the draw, the colors that I got, because I got a lot of browns and stuff like that, and like I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean to get browns and it's just turning into another eco build. <laughs> I didn't mean to get all these browns and greens, but that's what came about. Um, but no. Um, I think what I lack in in building, it's one little thing that I always forget. I always forget to give the buildings lot traits. But in all fairness, um, I don't even really pay attention to that. In most games that I play, I don't care about the lot traits too much. I mean, it's cool to have all these extra perspectives, and the only one I really seem important is like the one the off the grid lot trait, because that like actually affects like a lot of the gameplay, and it's like a living thing that a lot of people have. But like penny pixels, like I don't care too much about that. Like it just gives you free money every now and then, but. Um, I don't know, I, I just think the lot traits could be a little bit better, but that's just me. But this main bathroom is pink, and, um, I think it might be a little muted to some people's eyes. <laughs> I say that as, like, there's a lot of colors in there, but, um, but I don't know, like, I didn't know how to make <laughs> the floor a little interesting or something. I just... Added like little things here and there just to, to vavoom it up. But I added the, the cat litter box in the bathroom. I only had, well, I never really had a pet until I moved out of my parents' house. But even now, I only have guinea pigs. But when I moved in with my boyfriend, he already had a dog and a cat. And um, the dog died like not too long after and it was sad seeing her go but like I didn't get to raise her so I didn't really know what it was like having a dog or raising a dog because it wasn't my dog and then same thing with a cat um like we had a cat and it, we called it so many things it was kitty cat kitty mouse like just a bunch of it didn't have like an official name but um we just couldn't keep the cat in the house because it, it it peed a lot on a lot of things, and that wasn't us. Like that was just like someone we were living with had a problem with the cat, so um, we had to sadly get rid of the cat. It didn't die or anything. We just had, <laughs> we just had to um, give her or give him a new home. Sorry, <laughs> and the dog was there and the cat was a guy, but um, I miss that cat. That cat was really nice, but. Um, this is the guest bedroom as we're going through this build. It's really green. Um, it's one of the, the green parts of the house, but, uh, I feel like I didn't use, like, utilize the space as much. Um, sometimes I have trouble with bigger rooms, but I think I've been getting really better at it. Um, 
And I just want to, I just thought of something, like, as I was speaking, but I think I want to apologize, because I am been making a lot of restaurants lately, and I think it's because just, like, a bunch of the worlds don't have it, and I get it, because it came in, like, a, a game pack, so there was, like, no world to come with it, um, but I'm doing a lot of the, the lots that are residential, and I'm like, dang, these places need restaurants. Because, like, realistically, a lot of, like, the places around us are, are restaurants. Like, it, like a lot of the buildings and stuff like that. Like, you're not going to go around a corner and usually not see a restaurant. So, I think that's my thought process behind it. Like, I don't really like restaurants in The Sims only because it's, um... It's a little glitchy. It takes, like, half a day just to, to get a meal. But, um, it's fun to run them, and it's fun just to have them there. Just as a, a filler lot. And I enjoy going there, like, with Sims. Like, and especially, like, on dates with your Sims. Like, it's, it's really fulfilling. Um, but I think that's why I've been adding them. And I, I also want to apologize for using like a million packs in all my builds but I understand what it's like not being able to afford packs or have packs because I've literally bought all my packs for the sims and before um when I was younger I couldn't buy them because I got this game actually two years after the release date and that was because like I couldn't afford to to get the game out age 14 and my parents didn't have like money like that and when you add all the games up together it's over six hundred dollars it's like really expensive but i have pride in the fact that um like i bought all these and it feels nice and like i remember when i would scrape together money just to get a pack and I would be so excited to get all the new stuff and I would I would play with all that new stuff and overuse it and then be excited to get my next pack and um now I have a job obviously I'm old enough but before like I I was 16 um I didn't get my first job until I was 17 so I didn't have a lot of opportunities to to play the game but when I did, I played it a lot. <laughs> but I think the the fact that I paid for this game means a lot to me. And, um, like, I'd rather play, honestly, I'd rather play a lot of money to get all these packs and to expand the game more than an original than to actually, like buy different games that like buy all different types of games because my boyfriend doesn't get it like he's like why do you spend this much money on this one game but I'm like think about it I've been playing this game for four years and you probably spent the same amount of money on different video games that you play all the time but this is the only game I really play like that and um not just this game but like I've recently got into a few other games, but that's because I, I have the, um, the money to buy it, and I have the, the ability to buy it, and I'm thankful for that, so, um, but, like, now I'm into House Flipper and Animal Crossing, and I play Dead by Daylight, but we both play that together, so it's, like, t like, a little bit of our game, but, um, but this game, I've been playing for four years, and essentially it's been, like, the only game I've been playing. And if you have flam- Flammy. <laughs> if you have family or friends that have the game, luckily you can, like, have them- Like, if they don't have the money, you can have them play on your account, um, and see if they like it. And I, I just like that. I like the versatility, and I like having- this game like honestly I get like why people who played sims 3 didn't want to move to sims 4 because you spent all this money on these packs and all this and you developed this thing but this one honestly I think it's way better than sims 3 
I really didn't play Sims 3 all that much, but, um, just the graphics and the overall, like, playing ability, I think it's, it's better in this one, and, like, honestly, if they kept going on The Sims 4, I would be happy, and I'm a little scared for The Sims 5, because it's not gonna be like The Sims 4, they're obviously gonna change some things, probably make it better, but if they do, like, you're just restarting, and I don't want that, like, honestly, I would be fine if they just kept making universal packs for The Sims 4, because honestly, you can, like, the times are going to change, there's going to be more things that are popular, and I think that's where they can add on to this game. They can get more packs, they can do this, they can do that. So, I think that they don't really need to make a new game. Like, I know they're in the process of making that new game, but I don't think that they need it. Um, it's not even going to affect their profits all that much, but... Um, Maybe it, it's, like, more attention to, like, and to get more, um, people who will buy it, which, that's cool, and that's their hustle, so I gotta appreciate it, but, um, I honestly wish, like, The Sims 4 is, like, just ever-expanding, because it's a really great game, it's like Minecraft, um, oh, I also play Minecraft, but <laughs> it's like Minecraft, Minecraft hasn't changed ever, there's no Minecraft 2 really ever coming out. And that's the good thing about it. They just add and add and add. It becomes this really great game. But the thing with, like, The Sims 1, 2, and 3 is that they had a lot of bugs. And they had a lot of things that they needed to get better. And they made this art style that a lot of people have come to like. And some people haven't. And I'm one of those people that do like it. But I'm going to get back to the build. <laughs> I've been just rambling on. But... This is the Brothers Room Daryl, um, charm. Uh, it's yellow, obviously. <laughs> but I came up with that idea to make the dark pink room and then the light pink room. And I ran with it because I feel like they would be competing a lot, um, Gemma and Amelia. So, I, you just saw, um, Gemma's room being done. It's really edgy and... Her style's edgy, that's why I kind of wanted to do it, but, she, she, like, <laughs> I didn't get any dark colors, so, <laughs> I mean, purple was dark, but I thought it was just cool to, like, she has this edgy hot pink room, and, um, the carpet's still, like, light pink, but I think I added contrast with, like, the bed and the rug and stuff like that, so, yeah, and the brothers, he, I added, like, um, musical instruments, I think, he, um, he's like a bookworm and a snob and hot-headed, but I wanted to add, like, an extra layer to him. Like, maybe he's enjoying music and stuff like that. So, um, I gave him a bunch of stuff that he could use, and I did give him a bookshelf, so that's good. And the two pieces of the wall that I just, um, cut out on both sides turns into the sister bathroom, so I make the sister bathroom even bigger. And, um, obviously, I could have just made it into two separate bathrooms because it's, like, it's, like, five tiles, and that would have been perfect for a shower sink and a toilet. But I'm like, no, they're going to share a bathroom. That's how the floor layout came. It's an older house, and they hate it, <laughs> and they fight all the time. And I think it's funny that they're, they have this guest bathroom with an ensuite, and they also have, um, Amelia, who has her own room with her own ensuite, yet they have to share a bathroom, <laughs> and that's what they hate, and that's what they argue. And their mom just will not let them go to the, the room that they want. Like, one of them wants the downstairs room, but she's like, no, you guys are sharing a room. But... I don't know if Minerva's their mom or their grandmother, because she is, um, an elder, but, um, uh, I made her room purple, and it, I, I think this is my least favorite room, but, um, that's not saying a lot, because I really like all the rooms and what I did. I just think it's a little cramped, and 
it could have been decorated just a little bit better. Um, also, I put some movie hangout lights and the paper lights in a lot of the rooms. But the movie hangout lights hang really low, so I'm sorry for that. It doesn't look as good, but when I was building it looked really good, so that's why I added it. Um, but most of my house has consistent lighting. Uh, the lights I used were from the fitness stuff, and I didn't realize how many swatches that light had. And so it was really helpful when it came to this. And I also used a bunch of those paper lights throughout the, the whole house. But I really enjoyed it. And you'll notice for when I start to do her bathroom, um, Minerva's bathroom, uh, I drawed yellow and purple for my ensuite. So I was like, it's irrechangeable. But I didn't want to just do a purple bathroom because I felt like that would have been like the cop out bathroom. So I did the yellow bathroom and then I did the purple for um, uh, Amelia and actually I totally forgot I changed the so I guess they're not as upset the the two children the two teenagers they're not as upset that they have to share a bathroom because Amelia has her own room but. I changed her bathroom into a closet because purple doesn't have a toilet so I decided to make a closet because when in doubt when you have a, a bathroom that's supposed to be an ensuite you change it into a closet <laughs> just in case you don't get it that's a reference to my um my every room is a different pack challenge I'll link that one in the solid color build challenge I actually think because I always include one video at the end I might include two if I can figure it out. If not, I'll just link them down below. Um, and I actually changed Amelia's room around a lot because I feel like there's a lot of stuff she would use and I wanted to use this flooring but I end up using the carpet because A, well, A, like it would have been out of place in the whole house but B, um, the carpet like it didn't clash with the the like rugs and stuff that I wanted to use like the the other flooring did but I really wanted to use the rug right now but it didn't look as good with the the other flooring as the carpet did but I also had the same guitar that I added in um Daryl's room to Amelia's room and I think like she's a jack of all trades <laughs> like she's the perfect example of like a student or a spellcaster like cuz like she she has the the perfectionist trait and she's cheerful and stuff like that um she is clumsy though so um that could be her downfall but overall I feel like like just based on the whole bio and stuff um Gemma's like probably jealous of her and doesn't like her all that much because there's this girl that her mom is accepting more than her and um <laughs> and I thought it was really funny that they had opposing rooms like they're the same but they're just like different shades <laughs> but this is where you see I, like I fully thought of it and I was like nope this is gonna be a closet like she doesn't even have like a dresser in her original room so I was like it's perfect she needed it in a closet anyway um I was just looking for curtains because they didn't have like single tile curtains so I just sized down these um big curtains really small but reasonably those would have covered up the the windows um in a real house so I think it looks okay and I just added like a, a stack of books and a few extra stuffed animals um just to personalize it a little bit like I don't think she's scared to admit like that she has stuffed animals and stuff in her room because um I feel like she's a little softer and nicer in like her whole personality but I'm just looking through the house seeing if I need anything else and this is where you see I start to add like finishing touches I add lighting outside and I also add um, a few things like um, I change the roofing and then I, I decorate all the porches with um, some furniture so 
it doesn't look as empty. Um, and then I start to add some terrain paint in some places where it needs it, like on the outside of this porch. But I use these little cute animal things. I wanted to put this glow bar in, and I ended up putting it upstairs, so that was cool. And this is where I put a lot of the skills to, um, the skill stuff. Um, I realized at that point I didn't have an easel, so I went back to the dining room, and then I put in one of the tan easels that they had, the beige easel. And I put it into that um, room in that corner that was kind of awkward and looked misplaced. But I just add a plant on the outside and I start to look around and see if there's anything else I need. And I realized I didn't even decorate the front porch. Um, least favorite part of the house, honestly. Uh, the front porch it was a uh, afterthought and... Um, I think it could have used a little more. But here, I finally remembered we had a cat. And so I moved stuff around and changed it. And I don't think I put the, the color um, houses up yet on the gallery. But if I didn't, I will be sure to do the cat stuff that I promised. Um, but I just went in and added like a few planners to the front porch and then I added the terrain paint to the the side um just to to make it look a little more normal and then this is where you see I start to add the the roofing and that's basically the build I think I don't think I add anything else I think I add just a tree yeah a tree and some um a little bit more landscaping and some rocks to to add to that landscaping. I usually don't add a lot of rocks, but this, this house needed it. <laughs> a lot of landscaping to begin with. Um, but yeah, I added an outdoor bin, and then I put, um, it's an orange tree, but it's a ode to what I had. So, yeah, that's my video, and I hope you enjoy the screenshots at the end.